Ron Stabilo, still refusing to be a man and make his complaints about me, about me, saying last night, Talking Point submits that the conduct of G and NBC News is unprecedented in America. With the exception of the Today Show and some individual NBC correspondents, the network has violated just about every journalistic standard. Yeah, yeah. That's him on May 27, 2008. For the first time ever, a political party may have a network news organization in its pocket. That was him on October 5, 2007. Well, I suppose I'll accept in its pocket, considering what part of the anatomy of the Republican Party Fox is in. The runner-up, last night's winner, Senator Joe Lieberman, we told you that despite Pastor John Hagee's sermon that caused even Senator McCain to renounce his endorsement, the one about Hitler being heaven-sent to cause the Holocaust to hunt the Jews so they'd move back to Israel, Senator Lieberman will be sharing a stage with Hagee at one of Hagee's so-called Christians United for Israel summits in July in Washington. This afternoon, a statement from Senator Lieberman. Hagee's comments are, quote, deeply unacceptable and hurtful, so he's still going. I'd lapse into self-parody here, Senator, and mock you, but obviously you're doing too good a job mocking yourself. But the winners tonight, Dunkin' Donuts of Canton, Massachusetts. We told you yesterday about this. The unbearable Rachel Ray in an ad for the donut and coffee chain to which the lunatic fringe responded in an apoplexy of xenophobic paranoia. Because that, that thing around her neck, that is not just a stupid scarf. They think that is what Yasser Arafat used to wear on his head. See, it's, it's jihadist chic. And having already been driven business to Dunkin' Donuts by applauding its supposed stance in favor of tough immigration laws, the right threatened to boycott. So what did Dunkin' Donuts do? They folded. They were as weak as their decaf. In a recent online ad, Rachel Ray is wearing a black and white scarf with a paisley design. It was selected by her stylist for the advertising shoot. Absolutely no symbolism was intended. However, given the possibility of misperception, we are no longer using the commercial. They pulled the ad because of the possibility of misperception by the right-wing equivalents of jihadists, the people in this country who most closely share the mentalities of the terrorists, who act the most like Middle Eastern nutjobs, who rail against diversity, try to murder dissent, and care more about flags than about people. You know, the Michelle Malkins of the world. And you gave in to them because they merely mentioned the possibility of a boycott? How about this? How about the rest of us boycott Dunkin' Donuts for giving in to fascists like Michelle Malkin? And for giving weight to perhaps the most absurd idea the lunatic fringers have ever belched forth. That there are terrorist scarves! Terrorist scarves! Dunkin' Donuts. Time to stop buying the donuts. Today's worst person's terrorist scarves in the world.